Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Chef Yusuf show where we learn to cook the Islamic way. Today we are still fasting, it is still Ramadan, and we are going to talk about some of the things that will spoil your fast. But before we do that, we're going to talk about today's dish. Whoever said that food has to be only one taste, either sweet or sour, it doesn't have to be that way. One of the things that I like to do when I cook is to manipulate the palate. What does that mean? That means to combine sweetness with sourness, with saltiness, with some bitterness, and combine them in a dish that will make an explosion in the mouth, right? If a cook really can master the, the art of manipulating the palate, he is really an artist and he's really, he's really cooking at that point, right? So what I like to attempt to do today is to manipulate the palate and I would like to combine one of the things that I love so much spicy chicken with some sweet grape tomatoes and some sour capers with some salty olives that each one of these will play a different part in our mouth and our mouth is gonna be like what is going on so it's gonna be really excited let's get started Okay, as you can see, I did mention the, the ingredients, but to give the measurements, it's going to be two breast, two chicken breasts that uh, is approximately one quarter of a pound. Um, there is no specific measurement for each of those, but if you want, if you want them, I will tell you I did use 16 olives. I will use two tablespoons of capers and probably half the amount of this is going to be a half a pint. So let's go ahead and get started inshallah. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to put some oil in a skillet. I'm going to be a little bit, little bit more generous in the oil because this is not a non-stick pan. So we're going to go ahead and put the heat all the way up to go ahead and fry the chicken. We're going to make them brown. So the chicken, we're going to go ahead, of course, and salt them. And of course, you want to put some peppers. I would like to, my chicken to be a little bit spicy, so I'm going to be a little heavy on the, on the pepper. But I understand some people don't like uh, to add too much black pepper. But uh, if you like to have, uh, you know, you can also have this dish with some Tabasco sauce. So you can add whatever sauce in the end. But let's go ahead and add the black peppers. We're waiting to, for the oil to be hot. How do we know the oil is hot? You don't lick your finger and put it here. No, you don't do that. Of course not. We talked about this last time. Okay, when the oil is hot, when it's about to smoke, you know, we're going to go ahead and add the chicken. And it really depends on uh, how long you're going to put the chicken for. If the skillet is extremely hot, it's going to be approximately two minutes on each side. But we'll go ahead and go with the color code. We want to see it nice golden brown all right it's been two three minutes i have my tongues here so we're gonna go ahead and flip them and they should be able you should be able to lift it easily without getting stuck as you can see it look really nice and awesome so flip it one more time and now we're going to put our ingredients. I'm going to put half of this pint of, of tomatoes. Ah, you know what? I'm going to put the whole thing, you know. We put the whole tomatoes because the, tomato, the tomatoes will become like a sauce in the end. So it's really delicious sauce. So it's not a bad thing to add more tomatoes. So don't worry about it if you added the whole tomato or the half of the tomato. Capers, we want to add approximately two tablespoons of, of capers. Now remember, capers are, are sour and they are pickled capers, so they have a lot of salty in them. So just be careful the amount of salt that you're going to add on top of this dish, because these are extremely salty, and for me, I'm not going to add any more salt at this point. Olives. Olives, we have 16 pieces of olives. And that really, do you have to put 16 pieces of olives? No, of course not. You put as many as olives as you want. It really depends on your taste and do not follow like recipes strictly and blindly, please. So, we will go ahead and cook this. Not too long, only for a minute or so, okay? 
and you see the dish is already colorful and has the greens and the black and the red and the brown so it's not just the taste and the palette uh, we are just uh, we, we also have really nice colors in this dish so at this point we'll go ahead and turn the heat source off get yourself one of these this is yeah, this is microwave safe it's an oven safe and the size is perfect for for like two two people two and a half people right so what we want to do we'll go ahead and layer them tomatoes chicken and then everything else on top so we have few pieces of the tomatoes don't worry if capers and some olives have have one to the bottom we put the chicken on top all right put everything else back on top of this okay put your oven to all the way to 420 degrees we're gonna put this for 20 minutes or so we're gonna keep a close eye on it until it's well done okay so i'm gonna leave you with some of the hadith and then we'll come back and we'll talk about some of the things that will spoil your fast assalamu alaikum Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. We are still waiting for our chicken. I just want to mention one of the things that the reason I put it in the glass container is because I am filming and I want to show you the presentation. I want to, I want you to allow you to see the through um, the the final uh, product. But basically, if you have a a, a, steel, a stainless steel uh, skillet like this, we didn't have to put it in that glass container. We can just put this whole thing in the oven at 420 degrees. I just want to make that very clear. Okay, so going to the topic of the things that will break our fast. You know, we know that if there was a sick man or if there was someone who was traveling, he has the license not to fast, right? The same thing goes for the women who are pregnant or the women who, who are breastfeeding. You know, they do have the license not to fast, but you know, if that wasn't the case, uh, what are the things that will break our fast? So I want to mention to you maybe four or five things. Number one is the intentional eating and drinking, right? Everything happens with intention, right? So this is number one. And we're talking about the, the things that we eat uh, in, the, in, the, in the fasting time, right? Of course. Two will be intentional vomiting. And when I was a kid, I never understood uh, how do you intentionally vomit. Uh, but this is a fiqhi issue and this is a, so something in the Islamic law that we have to, um, you know, put the, draw the line, right? So if you intentionally vomit, that technically will break your fast. Number three, for women who are uh, in their monthly cycle or who are post-bleeding after the childbirth, uh, they also uh, do not require to fast, correct? So this is a license for them not to fast, but they have to do qada, they have to uh, make it up after the month, right? And uh, number four, uh, international sex, uh, in <laughs> international sex, <laughs> intentional sexual intercourse, right? <laughs> okay, so intentional, you know, intercourse will also uh, break your fast. Uh, what else do we have? Maybe medication. If you take medication, it will break your fast. Regarding injections, what is the right answer for that? You always have to go and ask your local scholar, ask your imam at the masjid. Um, uh, because different situations have different uh, fatwa regarding that. And please, please, please do not listen to someone on TV who is preparing food. He is not eligible to give any type of uh, fatwa, correct? So ask the real scholars, right? And this is very important for the children to know because there's a lot of people going around pretending to be ulama and they're just a bunch of people who read one or two books. So do not ask except for the scholars or at least the imam of that community in the masjid, inshallah. All right, it's been 20 minutes, inshallah. I'll show you how it looks. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get closer. As you can see, do you see the tomatoes? How the tomatoes are like softer and uh, and you see the juices are all in the bottom. It looks delicious and amazing. So inshallah, let's go ahead and plate it. All right, when we go ahead and plate it, we'll go ahead and get a new plate. Do we use this old plate? that the chicken was here? Of course not. This is actually very dangerous. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, We have to always be careful in the battlefield or in the kitchen, right? So we're not going to use this. Uh, the chicken, you know, it has salmonella. So we're going to go ahead and get another plate, inshallah. 
We'll get another plate. We'll go ahead and plate it really nice and uh, the way you prefer it. So I'm not, what I like to do is I like to put some tomatoes in the outer layer and uh, maybe some capers on top of this and some of the olives on the side. And of course, if you want to put some of the sauce, the delicious sauce is amazing. All of these flavors are, are combined in, in this dish. So we'll put the sauce here. I hope you enjoy this dish. Uh, as you can see, we have manipulated this taste. You know, we have some sweet, we have something sour, we have something salty and savory, right? Uh, imagine when we eat this, you know, it, it's gonna taste like saltiness going towards sweetness, going towards sourness, and go nor something spicy, and, and, and there is like an explosion in your mouth. So this is my version of uh, Mediterranean chicken with some capers and olives, right? So go ahead and try to innovate, you know, don't, don't let people stop you. Don't think that strawberries or apples have to only be sweet. And don't let anyone tell you that falafel cannot be sour, right? So try to innovate, try to manipulate the palate, try to play with the senses, right? Allow one sense to take over the other and, tr and when it does, allow the other sense to, to, to rise and take over the other. This is the real artistic thing that, that chefs do, right? If you can do that, you are a truly an artist. So go out there and, and try to wake up the tongue. Enjoy this meal. We'll talk to you next time. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته